If it turned black from the descendants of Adam, that means you just confirmed my point. So what, where is the debate then? The descendants of Adam for a thousand years, the disbelievers are being... That's my sinful. point. That means, according to your pagan prophet, supposedly from the time of Adam's descendants all yeah. the way now, the black stone turned black because people were venerating it and kissing it, meaning it was taking their sins upon itself, right? That's no, why it turned no, black. It's not, no, why did it wrong. turn black? It turned black because the people were worshipping other things for thousands no, of years. No, can, can you open up the hadith for this guy, this liar? Oh, we no, just read really. the hadith in front of him. Read it's it again. The descendants, of the descendants of Adams were coming in. So is Muhammad sin. a descendant of Adam or a descendant of a donkey? What's that? No, he's talking about the disbelievers who have been committing sins for no, thousands of years. No, it didn't say years. disbelievers. You're, you're lying through your teeth. It didn't say disbelievers. Then the black stone descended from the paradise. Under, it didn't say the... it was blackened because of disbelievers. He says they were blackened by the sins of the children of Adam. Children of Adam. It didn't say the yeah. disbelievers. Well, whoever's been committing sins for since the time of Adam, that's that, why. Yeah, and do you black. Muslims commit sins? Everybody commits sins. So that means anybody that comes and kisses the black stone, because of their sins, they turn the black stone from white to black. That means the black stone is absorbing the sins of all the children of Adam that come and kiss it. No. No, you did it wrong. That's a wrong interpretation. No okay, I'm going to give you $10 million dollars to show me here where it says the disbeliever pagans turned it black. If not, then you're not, you need to get out of here. Show it's it to me. Talking about, it's talking about all of mankind. Even the things. righteous ones? Even, even the Christians that aren't allowed to go to Mecca? What's that? Everybody. Even it's Christians everybody who has Mecca? Adam. It's, it's everybody who has committed sins. Well, now, let's get back to the point that you've been dragging wasting our time. When you, as a Muslim who's a sinner, go and kiss the black stone, yeah, is your sins affecting that black stone, yes or not? Our sins, when we kiss it, it does not affect the stone, no? Where does it say it doesn't when it says it turned black because it sins the children of Adam? It's talking is about the child, child of Adam. Sam, you are getting confused here, man. It's talking about all if the I now show of... you, if I show you the hadith, that, that's, that the black stone is into, going to intercede for you, it will Why intercede. is the black stone going to intercede for you if it's not because you're venerating it and by kissing it, it's taking up your sins and it will intercede for you? No, it just says whoever kisses it, it will wipe away his sins. Simple. Say it again. It says whoever kisses it, it will take away the sins. Oh, and Isn't how it? did it take away the sins? By turning it, black. No, it's not talking about them sins. No, that's why it says it turned black right in front of your eyes. Yeah, it's talking about the time, man. Why don't you go to sleep? You're wasting our time. Why are you here? Why are you, you are, are, are misquoting this hadith completely. Why are you wasting our time when because you just you're the prophet is a pagan because the black stone is going to come to life and intercede for you? So you're okay with a black stone coming to life to intercede for you? The Quran will as well. Quran will as oh, well. So, so you're okay with the Quran coming to life and fighting so and interceding Quran. for you? You're okay with that? To the calf, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the okay, so my question to you, who, who the Quran is going to intercede for you before who? When the Quran intercedes for you, who does it make intercession to? To Allah, of course. Say it again? To Allah, of course. So for the Quran to intercede with Allah, that means it's going to speak to Allah, right? Yeah. Yeah, you heard it, right? But wait, the Quran is the speech of Allah. How can it speak to Allah when that's Allah's speech? So Allah is going to be talking to himself? No, no, it's me. The the, the book is in a... Is in a is in, it but is it the book the speech of Allah? Yeah. So Allah's speech is going to come to life and speak to Allah. So Allah's speech is going to speak to Allah. So Allah's speaking to himself. No, you're confused. Some is the book. No, you're confused because you just said the Quran will speak to Allah, and the Quran is the speech of Allah. The, the Quran is not Allah. It's the speech of Allah. I didn't say not it's Allah. Allah. It's his Allah. speech. If it's his speech, it's Allah speaking, right? Yeah. The book so then speaking. Allah's speech is going to come to Allah and speak to Allah, even though that's Allah's speech. So Allah's speech is going to speak to Allah. So that's Allah speaking to himself. No, no, no. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not Sam. Okay. My speech right now that I'm speaking, this is my speech, right? Yeah. So uh, let's use your logic. So this speech that's coming out of my mouth, it's now going to come and intercede with me for Hussein. So my speech that comes out of my mouth, it's now going to come back to me and then tell me, hey, take it easy on Hussein. Yeah, the... the yeah, the he says it, yeah. So Allah's speech that comes out of the mouth of Allah will then come back to Allah and speak with Allah and defend you. So that's Allah's speech, speaking to Allah. Who? Allah's speech. Speaking no, to Allah. Okay, that makes given, sense. 
is is going to give evidence that in the day, these people have been reading. So Allah's speech is going to give evidence to Allah. Allah, yes, speech. This person here was reciting me. Reciting what? Allah's speech. Oh, so Allah's going to say, hello, my speech. What can I do for you? Oh, no, Allah, I am your speech. So it's really your speech speaking back to you. And I, your speech, is telling you that this guy here used to recite me. Oh, thank you, my speech. Now, because of that, I'm going to forgive him. 